What's up crew, it's Chris with CloverTech. Welcome back to the channel. We've got the NRA show coming up here, actually in just a few days. Uh, gonna be touching base and hanging out with our good friends at Lionheart Industry who have been making the Regulus handgun. And I thought, let's talk about the Regulus a little bit today because I happen to know somebody, gonna give them a call that uh, actually has one in hand. So let's uh, start a conversation. What's up, man? Not much, this man just got home. It's kind of relaxing. What's going on? Life is tough as the golf pro, right? It is. Long day, long week, but uh, it is what it is. What's going on? Could be worse, I guess. Right? Could be a lot worse, yeah, for could sure. Be, yeah. You no could doubts. be you could be a driving range uh, pro from West Texas that's checks are signed by a stripper, right? Uh yeah, with a uh an interesting caddy, yeah. Right, sure. and living in a Winnebago. Living, I mean, if you want to call it a Winnebago, yeah. I mean, let's, let's right on a, on a good day, it would be considered. I think you just insulted the Winnebago crew. You know, well, this is true. This is true. But hey, hey, you would, <laughs> you would have a hot tub outside, or was that a spa? I think that was the spa. All right, it was a spa. Yeah, it was yeah. a spa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah. If you got a minute, um. NRA is yeah. coming up this weekend and going to be visiting with our buddies from over there at Lionheart. And we've had, yeah. we've had them on the podcast, both of us on each of our podcasts. And of course I did the factory mm -hmm. tour, but you've actually got hands on the Regulus. So wanted to pick your brain and get your thoughts on. So what's your initial reaction to that? You know, my initial thoughts, uh, I remember really enjoying it at SHOT Show, getting my hands on it in the booth, um, but never got the fire. They weren't at range day, so I was really excited when it came in. Uh, my first reactions were, honestly, it kind of reminds me of like a mixture of maybe a SIG and a CZ, uh, more of like a tactical SIG or CZ. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I love the way it feels. The, the, the stippling design on the grip is phenomenal. I really enjoy that. Um, really like enjoy a lot of the features of it, mm -hmm. and it shot great so far. I've only put a hundred rounds in it, so uh, it's still early. Um, but through the first hundred rounds, yeah, we had uh, you know, we had a little problem, but I think it was me. Uh, only had one little thing, but I think that one have been me. Don't know yet, but uh, right. but yeah, so far I really like the uh, the way it feels, the way it shoots for sure. Nice. I know when I was talking to uh, to Rob there during the factory tour. I think the grips was one of the things he was talking about they were working on changing. So um, I'm wondering if you got the new grips on that one that uh, you're playing with. You know, I don't know. Um, they just got put together about a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Now mine is not a, a Georgia stamped. Okay. It is still a Washington frame stamped. Now, obviously they're not in Washington, so it was probably assembled in Georgia. Uh, but the one that I got still is, is stamped Washington State mm. uh, on the frame. But as far as the grip, I, I don't know. I don't know. It was the yeah. same grip, if I remember, from SHOT Show, because I remember enjoying the grip at SHOT. Okay. Um, so if they've changed it, it, either it's been changed very little or it, this one hasn't been changed. I don't know. Well, it may have been. I know a lot of the changes that he was talking about once they get that Georgia, especially the Georgia model coming out. And I think... I think he was, they were estimating hopefully late summer, early fall on that. Uh, but there were a few little yeah. tweaks. Now, I know that with the Regulus, they're working. It's it's interesting what they're doing because they're trying to make everything backwards compatible as they tweak things moving forward, which is an interesting take on it. It is. Um, you know, with what I, what I understand from talking to Rob and uh, the armor, I think his name's Andrew, I believe. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah. Um, and talk, been talking with him the last couple of weeks is when I put the video out, I said I had one little issue and it, it was a, it was a, it didn't fire. Um, but it could have been something I did. I put it back in the magazine and it worked just fine. Mm -hmm. So it, I, I don't really know, but I've been talking, this is, Hey, you know, do more testing. Let me know. Um, but talking with them is, I don't think, I think they're pretty happy with the mechanical side of the gun. Uh, what they might be touching up is maybe doing a little touch-ups, but the uh, the base of the mechanics of it's not going to change. Maybe some aesthetic work, and then obviously if they need it, if they need to 
you know, shape up something or, you know, tweak something here or there. But I think that uh, the, the – sorry, I've got a car driving by. Sorry. Um, I, I don't think they're going to be doing overhaul changes. I think it actually is going to be presented to the world, quote, unquote, at NRAM. So there's not right. going to be a whole lot unless something pops up. But I don't I, – I haven't had any issues where I think there's major overhauls. I think it's maybe some aesthetic work or something like that. The barrel's phenomenal. Um, like I said, the grips are great. Fiber optic sight, rear blocked out sights. Um, everything that I like about it is there. Um, so I'm enjoying it so far. Once again, right. only 100 shots in. Well, as far as the trigger, it's got that double action plus. Um, it does. How's that? How's that compared? The double action, the single action, and the double action plus compared to, let's say, double action, single actions like Berettas or something like that. Yeah, if you compare it to, let's say, a 92, uh, everyone kind of knows I'm a big 92 fan as, as well as you are. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, the double action, uh, much better than a 92. Right, not surprised. Uh, the single action is much better than the single action in the 92. 1911-ish um, on that? 1911-ish, yeah. I, I would say that it's it's a very, very light but very crisp nice. single action. Um, the break on it is very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Now you might get some 1911 snobs that'll say it, it's not as sure. good. It's good. It's, sure. it's really, really good. Right. The double action plus though, that's a game changer. Mm -hmm. um, for me, what it does it, it, in my eyes, it does a couple of things. One, um, for those that might want to carry this. Now there are two models. There's an alpha and a, and a beta. The alpha is the, the five inch, the full size, the beta is the more compact. Mm -hmm. I've got the alpha, the, long, the full size barrel, uh, five inch barrel. Sorry, um, but what that does is for someone who's wanting to maybe carry, mm -hmm. and they don't want to carry in single action, which I get. There's some people that might be nervous about carrying in single right. action with a one and a half pound trigger or whatever it is. You know, um, it gives them the opportunity because when you when you push that that trigger the hammer back up into double action plus you can pull the trigger, but it goes to single action. It doesn't right. go bang. Um, and so that gives a little a, a safety, you know, sure. if you will, another an added safety. More importantly, I think what it does is um, I, I found, I only shot it that way, probably 25 of the hundred rounds, but I noticed that going from double action to single action, mm -hmm. Versus double action P to single action, much more accurate. Oh, and okay. so it does make it a, a more accurate gun. Sure. Once again, if you're going with a 10, 12, whatever that double action, I haven't tested the weights yet, but let's just say it's that 10 to 12 pound double action trigger, mm -hmm. and then going into single, that first shot in the double action, it's hard for anybody to get a great accurate shot. Going right. to a double action plus, it just goes straight to single action for you. So your first shot is in that really lightweight single action trigger. Right. Now their their motto or whatever I know is is something along the lines of heirloom quality battle ready or something something along that lines. Yeah, I think um, it's battle ready, yeah, sure. And so the fit and finish from what we've experienced just you know, myself with hands on it at SHOT Show and then at during the factory tour, the fit and finish definitely there. I mean definitely the heirloom quality, I get it. On par with Wilson Combat Nighthawk, I think uh, a lot of those great manufacturers. Uh, as far as and you haven't had that many rounds to it, but as far as the fit and finish and holding up so far with what you've done, what's your experience with that? So, yeah, I would put that, I mean, we're talking about a gun that's going to re MSRP, unless I don't know what they're going to retail, but MSRP around a thousand dollars. Um, it's people aren't going to have to be worried about getting a cheap quality gun for a high price tag. It's going to, the quality is going to exceed, that MSRP. So you're definitely getting a quality, quality handgun. Good. The fit and finish is great. I will say this. The one thing I do like about that stippling pattern on the grip is, especially if it's someone that's in a high humidity, hot, somewhere where they're sweating or whatever, you're not going to have any worries about uh, that slipping out of your hand. You're going to be able to give it a good grip. It's not going to cut you. But it, it is an aggressive stippling pattern, and it's different than most stipplings. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, you're definitely going to be able to do that. So I, I, I'm enjoying it. I think it's very high quality. Um, you know, the, you're going to be able to customize this with different rear sights if you want. Um, they come with 1911 
a site a 1911 site picture yeah so Novak, you're Novak be sites, able I believe, to right what's that Novak sites i believe Novak, yes Novak sites so for those that like to get their own 1911 sites or whatever you're going to be fine with that right. so uh you know the customization side is is still pretty good i think they're g10 grips so if you wanted to get some different grips um I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're G10 grips. So right. you're going to be able to maybe get whatever grip so that, that you're going to be able to customize it if you wanted to, which I don't like. Like I said, I, I like rear blacked out sights and a fiber optic. That's how I run most of my guns. Right. It comes that way. Yeah. So I'm good. Now, any plans before uh, before you're done with the testing to run it through your crucible? See how it does. Yeah, you know, it's going to be interesting. It is. Um, it is. That will be the first. Because I have not run a, I've not run a hammer fired uh, pistol through the yep. crucible. I, yet, did, so. I didn't think you had. So that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. No, all of them have been striker fired. And, and we all know that with that hammer, you know, with sand and dirt and mud, something getting in between that hammer and that firing pin, who you knows, know, yeah. who knows? Am I expecting it to run clean? No. Because there's going to be probably some kind of debris. Am I expecting it to run and make it through? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any mechanical issues that it fails. Right. I just think it might be, hey, you might have to pull the trigger a couple times to get whatever debris of sand or dirt between the hammer and that firing pin. Um, but we'll find out. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of excited um, to run that through the crucible just because it will be the first hammer fire to go through it. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Looking forward to that. So. Well, I'll let you go. I know uh, finishing yeah, up uh, on the weekend, and we'll catch up with you a little later on on the uh, uh, Armed Citizen podcast that's uh, Tuesday night. Yep. So uh, Tuesday night, uh, 7 o'clock. Appreciate yeah, man, all the appreciate insight, calling. man. Be good. Yeah, bro, be good. See you. So there you go, crew. A little more information on the Regulus handgun from Lionheart. More to come, I'm sure, after the uh, NRA show. As for ghost video, well, I got that linked right over here, as well as the podcast we did with uh, the two of the Robs, both of the Robs from Lionheart. So be sure to check those out as for this one we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.